Hey YouTube, this is Zuler Official, and today we have a very special review for you guys. So if you guys don't know, today is October 30th. Now, October 30th, you guys could say, is Mischief Night. Or, in this case, Halloween's Eve. October 30th is, you know, the day everyone preps before Halloween. You know, grabbing all your costumes, buying your candy and everything. And once Halloween arrives, you have the main event. You get free candy and you get the spooks from different costumes like zombies, vampires, werewolves, witches, and so on. And what I really like about what we're going to be talking about today is it takes the main themes of Halloween, which is candy and costumes or scary goose, ghosts, zombies, and so on. It takes those two things and combines it into one set. Here we have Dr. Dreadful's Zombie Lab. This thing is a spooky, scary candy factory maker. What you can do is you will take these unmade candy bags right here. You can put them inside anywhere along this zombie head and it will make spooky candy. So, in my opinion, this is really cool because it adds both themes of Halloween and puts it into one set. And after you're done, you can eat all the candy. You could, you know, pull some pranks and so on. So, in my opinion, it is really, really cool. So, aside from all my opinion, let's get on to what's included within the set. First things first, we have the instruction manual. It just teaches you how to put together the set and how to make certain candies. Here we have the front and then the back. You know, very basic, easy to read, stuff like that. You have utensils, for instance, something to scoop up the candy. You have tweezers to take out those spooky spiders. And you have an injection type thing where you could put some liquids or some candy in here. And there are little holes on the worm or the spider where you could inject the liquids inside and then they will form. Of course you get the station itself and what's really cool is it's a very easy build. I put it together in less than like two seconds. If you push down on the top of the brain you'll notice that the mouth opens and the eye will go up. So that's a really cool touch to the set itself. You can of course take out the brain. You have a little cup where your brain juices will spill out into. And of course you have the different candy bags. So all of this will just add to the fun, you know, to making spooky candies for of course a Halloween night. So let's skip all of this and let's go right on into making some spooky candies. Okay, so right now I have my uh, Dr. Dreadful's zombie lab set up. You can see here that I have water, drinkable water, like Poland Spring or whatever. And I have, I just washed my cup here, has measurements, so in case I need a certain amount of water, you know, stuff like that. So again, I washed these before, and just make sure, you know, everything's clean before you actually use it. So, First, I want to demonstrate to you guys how to make the bugs. So, open up your instruction manual, and if you look around, it should be in one of these steps. In this case, it would be right here. Notice how it says, zombie bug experiment, at the very top right hand corner. Okay, so you take your bags and you'll look that each one has a name. This one says Brain Mix. You keep on looking. You grab a different one. This one says Skin Mix. Here we have Barf Mix. And then here, this bag is what we'd be using. And you can see it says Bug Mix. So just shake the bag until all the stuff is at the bottom because you know you don't want it to spill and then what you do is of course 
open your bag carefully, and then you can place it down. So step number one, it says add ingredients as shown and stir until uh, smooth. So we need two level scoops of bug mix and three scoops of warm water. Okay, so opening my bag, taking my spoon, and getting one mix right here, grabbing another one right here, and then after you clean off your spoon, you can just grab your water, and then let me grab my napkin, just going to clean out my spoon. Once you have your spoon cleaned out, you just grab your cups of, or how many amounts of water you're going to need. In this case, they say three. So, one, two, three. Once you have your ingredients set up, in this case, my cup is a little bit too big. But depending on how much amount you want to make, you can see here that, for instance, let's say you wanted more mix. So if you added, of course, this is mental math, two more scoops of the uh, ingredients, you just have to add more mix or three more mixes to the water. And then you just do that. So here I've demonstrated it, and I'm just going to stir it later. I will put it in here and freeze it for you guys to see. So as you can see, I have everything set up. And before we start the video, I just wanted to get, let you guys know, I did add more of the liquids and the solution, or the candy, I should say, into this, or my cup right here. And the thing is, before I put everything together, I just want to let you guys know that the set, like I said, does come with a cup, and you can do everything in here as well. I was just going to save this uh, for later when I make like the brain juice and all that stuff. All that good stuff. And for now, I'm just going to keep everything in here. So as you can see, it's kind of like a liquid, but it at the same time is a little bit mm, like less so. It smells really good. I haven't tasted it yet, so I wouldn't know. This is my first time. So you guys can watch. And after that, you can just take out your spoon. Place it on top of your napkin. Always have something, you know, just in case to clean it up. And what you want to do is place your finger at the very end, like this, and just pour in the pre-made candy. Just like so. Notice it'll go in really, really easily. Just like that. And then after that, if you have too much, you can always put it in. You can place in your needle or injection thing right here and the thing is before I get everything set up I have my spider which I took out of the eye right here you'll notice that there's a little hole where you can place your pre-made candy inside and notice how it actually fills in perfectly so if I place my injection thing in my pot, this is cooking, so things will get a little messy. You can just clean up the top, and I just want to show you. You can see on the inside the mold of the spider, which is really, really cool. After you finish with that, put it somewhere. You can take the rest of your pre-made candy, and you can place it inside of the worm at the very top. Just watch how it changes color, just like that. And then you can take your mixing thing right here, and you can just pop out the candy like so. Sometimes it may be a little difficult to get out 
and you'll notice things get messy. Hey, it's cooking. So after you have everything set up, you've taken everything out, you've cleaned up your station, you can take your pre-made candy, put it in the refrigerator for 10 minutes, you can take it out and you guys can eat. And I will be showing you that in 10 minutes. So right now, I'm getting ready to make the zombie barf experiment. Yes, yeah, sounds gross, but apparently tastes great. Well, let's see if that's true. So first things first, we're going to get everything set up. You notice here, I have my cup washed, you know, clean and everything. And what I'm going to do is clean off my spoon right here. Make sure that it's clean as well. Throw away my napkin. And once that's done, we will fill up this cup to 90 units. So let's see, 90 units. There you go, perfect 90. Now, what you're going to do is I've already opened it, but you guys will take the blue bag, which says the barf mix, and you're going to open it up, take your spoon, place it inside, and on the instructions, after it says fill cup with uh, 90 units marked, you're going to then add three spoonfuls of the mix. One, two, and then three. So it may sound gross, but good thing it smells like raspberry candy, so I'm a big fan of raspberry candy. We're going to mix it up, it says, until you can no longer see any clumps in the water. So I'm going to continue to mix and I'll get back to you guys once I'm finished mixing. So I mixed up the, the uh, ingredients right here to my best of uh, my ability. There are still some clumps left, but you know, that's better than nothing. So what you do is you're going to take out the brain. After you've taken out the brain, you can uh, unscrew the top like so. Once you've taken off the top, you can take your solution and you can pour it into the brain. Notice there will be some clumps left, but I did try my best to get everything mixed up. And after you do that, you just close this up. Notice right here, there is something to cap onto. You'll notice there will be a small clip. After you've done that, you can continue with the instructions. After you screwed on the brain valve, uh, you can pull the valve up to close, and then you can set aside. So what that is, is pull this brain valve up. Then you can set this aside, and then we're going to fill the same cup with 40 units of water. So first, I gotta go get this cleaned out, and I'll be back. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, again, we had to pause it really quickly just to get our utensils cleaned up. Okay, so now that I have my cup filled, I'm going to fill it up again with water, but this time 40 units. There we go, 40 units. Now that I have 40 units, of water in the cup. I can clean off my utensil. Just like so. Dispose of this napkin properly. Once that's done, take your mix. And this time, you're going to add four scoops. Let's start off with one. Two, three, and then four. I'll place my bag back, get another napkin, place it right here, 
and then after you've added that, you just stir, and then you just wait for the powder to dissolve. And I'm just going to go right into step six. Step six reads, place cup with barf mix part two under the skull. And then what you want to do is, after you continue to shake this until you believe that it's done, you're going to take this right here, and you're going to shake it up inside of the brain and after that you will place your cup after you're done mixing like so taking a little bit longer you place it under the zombie head you're going to take the brain and you're going to place it right on top of the uh, zombie head. Okay, so I have my uh, both of my mixtures ready and the reason I stopped is because now that I'm done with the mixtures I just want to show you guys. In the beginning I showed you that you could press down this head and there's a reason for that. And once you press this down the liquids or the solutions in the brain will be coming down into the cup here. So, you can watch right now. Notice how it fills up, just like so. And the cup is filled all the way, you know, most of the top, and I'm just going to wait. So that's what the point of this brain thing is. Really cool, you know, just adds to the effects, the, of course, grossness to the set. And after you're done with that, of course, just waiting for all the drops to come out. Okay, so just to keep my station clean, just going to take a napkin and switch it out for my cup. And then I'm going to drink it for you guys, just, you know, show you guys. So it smells like raspberry it's for you guys out there, YouTube. So here's the solution. I actually taste... A little bit more like water than I would expect raspberry, but it's not so bad, you know. Hoping the candy would be better. You know, it's okay. I think if you just added a little bit more, it would taste like raspberry. It's actually not so bad, now that I think about it. Yeah, it tastes like raspberry for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that part. I'll have the candy out for you guys to, you know, watch me eat that too. So it was pretty good. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's okay, so right now I have the gummy candy ready to eat. I left the spider in there a little bit longer because I left it out just a little bit longer, you know, I just want to make sure that it's uh, completely gummified. Now what you want to do is, it says put it in the refrigerator for 10 minutes, but just to be safe, I put it in the freezer for like a minute or two, you know, just to make sure. So you can open up the case, and you'll notice that there is a perfect mold on the inside. So now we can just start with the head or something, I don't know. And we can just pry off the candy. So right now I have a little bit, I just kind of pried it off. So again, you guys can watch, I'm going to eat the head of the spider, or centipede. I think you need to put it in the freezer for a little bit longer. It's okay. It's it's not bad. It's actually better than the bar, in my opinion. So there you have it. That was just a little bit of the spider tasting. I think you actually need to put it in the refrigerator longer than usual. Um, it was still a little uh, mushy, but that's okay. I was expecting a more of a gummy type flavor. So actually, it wasn't half bad. Better than the bar, in my opinion. Could be better. Um, leave it in the freezer for longer, maybe you'll get a better result. I don't know, you guys can comment on that. Please do let me know. So, for now, just to keep, you know, the station here clean for our next review, I'm not going to go through the uh, bubbling brains experiment or the uh, zombie skin experiment. So, that's what I had for now, and uh, I'm just going to wrap up the video. Okay. 
So I just have, you know, the basics right here. In my opinion, this set's great for Halloween. You know, spook your friends, uh, give your friends a good dare. Uh, very fun treat for Halloween. And Halloween is tomorrow, guys. So before I say anything, have fun out there. Be safe, you know. Don't go all crazy with the candy. It is a school night, unfortunately, tomorrow. But okay, so on to the set. The Dr. Dreadful Zombie Lab was very fun to make. It does require a little bit of work, though. You're going to have to clean up. So don't expect anything clean. So overall, the candy did not taste so bad. I was actually expecting worse. The barf, in my opinion, just the name made it sound worse, but it wasn't as bad as it really sounds. And the gummy was actually better than I thought as well. Just freeze it a little bit longer, you'll get better results. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Question, uh, rate, subscribe, you know, comment, all that good stuff. And again, happy Halloween, YouTube.